Silk fibers can be creatively crafted into a variety of artistic objects, from paper to fabric or even items like lamps. The fibers are translucent, so they can take bright white light and diffuse it into warm, beautiful mood lighting. This lamp doesn't have shades. Instead, it has natural looking silk flowers, which conceal its lights. The lamp base is made of branches. To create this functional artwork, the artisan begins with a roving. A roving is a bundle of fibers harvested from a silk moth caterpillar's cocoon. They've been cleaned and straightened. She places the roving in a nylon mesh bag, then submerges it in a specially formulated dye. She heats the dye to 185 degrees, then sprinkles in more powdered dye to produce splashes of bolder colors. After a couple of minutes, she removes the roving and rinses off the excess dye. She hangs the roving on a rack until it's completely dry. Roving is typically spun into thread to make silk fabric, but this artisan has a different technique. She spreads a sheet of tool on her work table. Then she gently separates the fine hair-like fibers and lays them out on the tool. Each pile will be turned into a flower for the lamp. She folds over the tool to create a barrier that keeps the fibers from sticking to her hands. She prepares the fibers for the textile medium she'll apply next, a polymer adhesive. She saturates each pile with water, containing a few drops of dishwashing detergent to open up the fibers. Then she sponges up the excess water and soaks up any other remaining moisture with a towel so the medium does not become diluted. Now she's ready to apply the polymer adhesive. As the fibers absorb the medium, they fuse together, forming a sheet of silk fiber paper. After folding back the tool, she begins molding each paper into a flower. She spreads the paper over a balloon and lets it dry overnight. With a few simple steps, she has transformed a colorless roving into colorful sheets of moldable silk fiber paper. The next day, she pops the balloon. The silk fiber paper holds its round shape. Using the textile medium again, she glues her silk fiber flowers to juniper branches. She secures them with a needle and thread, matching the thread color to the silk so that it blends in. She further sculpts the flowers with the stitch or two in select spots and dabs textile medium on the thread to secure it. Then she glues in a second, slightly smaller flower, creating two layers of petals. She takes some fibers she dyed green and glues them under the blooms to form wispy leaves. Finally, to turn this sculpture into a functioning lamp, she places a battery-powered LED push light in the center of each flower. The lamp needs no inner wiring and doesn't need to be plugged into an outlet. You simply press the middle of each flower to turn its hidden push light on or off. A simple sculpture by day and a gentle light by night.